Good morning and welcome to this month's orientation session for the Good Food Network. I forgot, you can't jump these out to Facebook anymore. You used to be able to. <laughs> the rules keep changing with social media and uh, I got more important things to do, like be outside. <laughs> Uh, welcome to this session. So this is what this session is all about. This session is meant to give an orientation and a sort of behind the scenes look at what's going on in the Good Food Network for the month of April. So this is out on the YouTube channel. It's also out to those who register for the Good Food Network. So it can give you a tour so you can find your stuff easily. So there's kind of a two piece here to the whole equation. Find out if this is something you want to do. And once you're in it, where do you find your stuff? Yeah. So this also helps serve as a jumping off point to know whether or not the good network would be something you join. So I'm going to give you all the facts up first. It's a subscription service. It's 35 bucks a month in one month. First of all, let me say that to once and you can do more if you want there's enough to do probably three hours of every week you know there's like in our family there was nine here in calgary when we would go to the buffet and all nine of us eat different things so all nine of us go up to the buffet and we fill our plates differently there's not a single one of us nine that goes up and takes everything that's under the buffet table we all have a different plate. Some of us go back for seconds. Some of us only get desserts. So you get to choose what it is that you want to put on your plate from the Good Food Network every month. There's always a central theme to it. This month, we're doing part two of stress. And when I talk about stress, I'm talking about how, well, in the point of view of nutrition anyway, how nutrition can be of service to help address internal stress, stress of things not working in the body, because every time you trip the stress response, you drive inflammation. And every time you've got more inflammation, you're ramping up your stress as well. So this is really about reducing inflammation internally, addressing what goes awry when there's a lot of stress in the body, and helping kind of like a little game of whack-a-mole. Put those things down and keep everything in check. That's why I love nutrition. It's such a great service to the daily grind of being a human. You know, you're going to feed yourself. Why don't you feed yourself something that counts? And that's how we move through the month. So hi, my name is Luca. I'm your holistic nutrition practitioner. I've been doing this thing for about uh, mm, 10 years now, actually, 10 years last month. Oh, Nope. Nine years last month. It'll be 10 years next year. Okay. Whew, that was close. So I am here at Good Food and You. I'm also one half of Histamine Haven. And I love to help people figure out how nutrition and the foods they choose to put on their plates and the frequency at which they eat their meals can help them better support the biochemistry of being alive. Part of my work is in helping you read the clues that your body is giving when something's not working right. If something's not working right, what kind of support is your, asking, is your body asking for? Is it a blood sugar balance issue? Is it hormonal imbalances? Is it aches and pains? Is it histamine issues? Is it autoimmune conditions? All of these different ways that our body talks to us are all different ways our body's asking for help. My work is in empowering you to be able to decipher those messages and then to put those pieces in place. So let's get into... How to know if the Good Food Network is for you. I've got a list of probably 20 in the long run, but I'm going to start with the top 10. What are those top 10 ways to know that you have a high burden of stress? Let me clarify what I mean by burden of stress. Burden of stress to me is a, cul uh, a culmination of three types of stress. It's a culmination of external stress, internal stress, and emotional stress. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to share a screen, just a second, to an image that I've got. Da, 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 da. And this is going to help explore it and make it make sense a little bit more. So there's three types of stress when it comes to your personal burden of stress. So we've got emotional stress. 
Emotional stress is that layer of stress that has to do with any type of relationship with people. So how much emotional stress might you personally have? So this is anything to do. Like, do you look after, do you care for an elder who needs a lot of appointments and care? Do you look after a spouse that might have a chronic disease and there's a lot of work to be done around their schedule? Are you the facilitator for a neurodivergent child that has a lot of appointments, for example? What about other kinds of emotional stress? We can also talk about anything that has to do with relationships with family members. Do you have a strained relationship with a loved one? Be it somebody who lives in your home or not. I mean, hi, it's very obvious. Emotional stress, Luca. What if you're in an abusive home? Yeah, that's a pretty obvious one. But you can add to this too if there's an emotional stress relationship with anybody in your work circles. Expand it there. What about estranged family members you're not talking to anymore? Let's add that to that burden of stress. And emotional stress, you can also think of it with um, trauma. The and, and here's the reason why. So any of these conditions require us to go above and beyond just kind of getting through our day. It, they're asking a little bit extra of us to navigate, to pay attention, to anticipate, and to be on the lookout for something that's coming that needs our help, our support, our ability to get out of harm's way. All of that adds up to an emotional stress. This top burden, the purple one here. An emotional burden of stress adds a big chunk. And every time you trip that stress response, you're actually tripping the stress response in the body, the whole of it, which drives inflammation. Oh, fun times. All right, that's the first one. The next layer of stress is that internal burden of stress. An internal burden of stress is anything that's not working well in the body. So if you have a chronic disease, if you have a condition that took 20 years to show up, if you are taking any medications for any conditions like uh, Synthroid or Levothyroxine, that is a medication that is there to support a thyroid that is underperforming. So anybody who's got any kind of medication typically tells us there's something not necessarily working well in the body. If you're on PPIs or high blood pressure medication or um, what would be something else that's fairly common? Oh, uh, medication for any kind of mood troubles. Yeah, anxiety, worries, depression, low moods. These are all indicators of internal stress. I'll give you some more. Chronic disease, histamine issues, mast cell activation, massive, huge internal stress going on there. Uh, are you the person who gets sick all the time? Do you have blood sugar regulation issues? Another one. Does your liver super struggle? Another one. What kind of symptoms? What are your most bothersome symptoms? All of the symptoms are indication that internal stress burden is high. Eczema is one. Like there's a lot of them. So internal stress, I want you to think of that as things that are not working biochemically in the body. And that's where the symptoms come about. So now on top of the emotional stress, we've got that internal stress. And now we're adding up two layers to that overall burden of stress. Now we've got the external stress. And I think when people talk about stress, that's really what they're thinking about. The external stress <clears throat> is that stuff you can't control. Do I have a job on Monday? Why? I say this one all the time. Why did the cost of cheese double in the last two years? And butter. Qu'est-ce que what the bleep? Yeah. All right. Do you live in the same world I do? External stress could also be um, uh, making ends meet and having financial worries. Um, the, we had huge problems with our water bill in the fall where it doubled and almost tripled actually in the span of three months. And they were not, they were not getting back to us and they were not doing the research to figure out what was wrong. And they told us it was our end. And we just had a water pool that was added to our house, which we didn't. And so they didn't want to come and find what the error was. So finally, after much pushing, which takes extra external stress. They finally found what the issue was and they said, we're not reimbursing you. We'll just credit your account. So we had a few months where we paid $19 a month instead of our typical amount. So these are all, you know, that's just a scenario. So how much external stress do you currently have? How much of that stuff that's outside of your control is going on in your life? Do you know that every time you trip that stress response because of something externally, you are adding to that total burden of stress. I'm not saying don't stress out. 
What I am saying is in the Good Food Network, what we do, especially, well, we did in the month of March, and now we're going to do it over the course of April, is that we nourish you to better get through the stress response. Yeah, we're going to give you the foods and the frequencies and the things to put in place to reduce, in particular, that internal burden of stress. And when you address this internal burden of stress, you give a little bit more wiggle room for the emotional stuff and the external stress that you can't necessarily, um, that you don't necessarily have any control over. So that's a huge thing. It's a huge thing, and it's not necessarily obvious to a lot of people, but this is the power that nutrition has. And it's how nutrition can actually be anti-inflammatory. A lot of people think, oh, I just need to reduce inflammation. Yeah, that's actually one of the pieces of reducing that internal burden of stress. But there's so much more. When we address, when we address the internal burden of stress, we are nourishing you, first of all, to get through the stress response and to be able to turn it off. So you need to have the nutrients you need to turn it off. If you don't have them, you stay stuck in it and stays on. We also look at reducing inflammation. When you reduce inflammation, you're reducing the internal burden of stress, which now gives you more wiggle room for the other two, emotional and external stress that you can't necessarily touch or have any sway in. And as we do this, you start to build your resiliency and you start to build enough capacity for your brain to manage through the day a little bit better. And as you do this, you're reducing what is driving chronic disease. So it doesn't matter what kind of chronic disease you want to protect. This is the work. Another big component of what it is we do in order to reduce your internal burden of stress. Yeah, we feed you to reduce inflammation, but we feed you to support your metabolism. When your metabolism works well, your engine works well. Your metabolism is that internal combustion engine. And when your metabolism is really low, that internal combustion engine is not working really well. And it goes, it runs on kindling. Our work is to get your engine roaring with big old logs in there. Yeah. So when we support your metabolism, you can keep the energy steady and more... It creates safety in the body. Part of what we do when we support your metabolism is we make the body feel safe. Nutrition is really, really good at that. And if you followed a lot of what we've been told to do in the last 30 years, you've done a lot to make the body not feel safe. The mainstream stuff. When we told people to reduce fats, when we keep telling people to reduce their protein and to go for more plant-based protein, not against plant-based protein, but you're, it's really hard to get the same amount of protein from your plant sources as it is from your animal sources. And so now you're starting to reduce the amount of ingredients your body would typically expect to have to function on a day-to-day -day basis, especially if your people come from people from the, if your genetics evolved from that of those who had a steady stream of protein. There's so many other pieces to the puzzle. I'm not going to get too complicated. Sorry, I already did. Yep, sorry. No, I'm sorry. Okay, we've got 10 top ways. I see clients one-on-one. -on -one. And everybody that I see, we always start with creating biochemical safety in the body. What does that mean? Creating biochemical safety in the body is addressing that internal burden of stress and reducing it. And we reduce it by reducing inflammation and supporting metabolism. So we reduce inflammation, we support metabolism. We help it come back on and we turn the fires off. The fires are trying to make up for an engine that's slowing down. Yeah, if we just support the engine better, then you don't have to rely on inflammation to try to get through the day. You see what I'm saying? So what are the top 10 ways? I compiled a list of the top 10 ways I see in my clients. When in my notes, as we're going through our initial appointment, I'll jot down high burden of stress. Top 10 ways. Number one, is this you? How many check marks do you get? Do you feel stress keenly? Like, are you the person who jumps when someone's behind you? Does it feel like the world is right here talking to you all the time and you're like, ah, oh God, oh God. I have a theater degree. <laughs> Does the world feel heavy? Are you an empath? That's another way to think about it. These are all really good indicators that you have a high burden of stress. 
That's the number one. Number two. Oh, it's essentially part one explained a little bit better. You are sensitive. Are you sensitive to different things? Are you uh, the person who reacts to perfumes, to sounds, to lights, to electromagnetic frequencies, to the towers they put up at the end of your street? Oh, it's Calgary. Uh, are you the person who reacts to pollen, animals, those kinds of things? Do you react? Does your body go, oh my God, not safe, not safe, not safe. Uh, do you react long before others do? I have hay fever. I have had hay fever in the past. I don't get it as much anymore. My husband does not. Guess who's more sensitive? Guess who gets me fun of often? <laughs> in a cajoling way, but it's true. I am more sensitive. Do you know why? Your body's going to be more sensitive because it doesn't tolerate the amount that the other person does. So it's going to help you get out of harm's way faster. It's a survival mechanism and it's a protective mechanism to help keep you alive a little bit longer. Yeah, it's your body working marvelously. You're not broken. Nope. Your body just needs to get out of harm's way sooner than the other person. Yeah. Number three, do you have a chronic disease? The top 10 ones in Canada, I can never remember the top 10, but the top 10 in Canada are type 2 diabetes, COPD, and asthma, which are under the same umbrella, mood and depression disorders, thyroid disorders, cancer, cardiovascular disease, uh, dementia and Alzheimer's. I can't remember what the other ones are. Those are always the ones I remember uh, because they're the ones that I see in my clientele. So do you have a chronic disease? Something that's, oh, and cancer's in there. It's something that takes a long time to show up. It just didn't show up overnight. Thyroid issues. Did I say that one? I will add to this. Do you have an autoimmune condition or do you have histamine issues or mast cell activation? That's a big part of who I see at histamine healing. So though that's number three, the big disease. Do you have a big disease? Number four, do you have a chronic infection like Lyme disease? Uh, what about stealth infections? So things that you don't necessarily know are going on. SIBO is one, which is often diagnosed as IBS. So SIBO stands for small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. That can be a really big extra burden of stress internally. <clears throat> Other things, Epstein-Barr virus, Bartonella is another one. Those stealth infections, long COVID is actually now considered a stealth infection. The infection is long gone in the case of COVID, but the trigger, the initial trigger, sets something up to make you more sensitive. Yeah. Another helper. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's number four. Number five, what's another way to know that your burden of stress is high? You have a hard time with sleep. Is sleep elusive? Do you have insomnia? Do you wake up a lot? Mm -hmm. That's a huge one that tends to show up around perimenopause as well. Are you having a hard time? Well, I'll add to that. Are you having a hard time through perimenopause? That's not one of our top 10, but yeah. And the shift into menopause. Ooh, baby. If you're having a hard time, there is a high burden of stress going on internally. Number six, do you have low energy? Are you tired all the time? Is your resiliency low? Is your capacity to get things done not quite what it used to be? There's a bit of that atrophy that happens naturally over the course of a lifetime. But is there a drastic change that's happened lately? That can be an indicator that that internal burden of stress is not necessarily up. It's, it's getting a bit high. Number seven, do you have mood troubles, anxiety, or are you the person who's jumpy? When someone comes behind you, ugh, do you jump like that? Yeah. Number eight, thyroid troubles. Well, that's one of the chronic diseases, Luca. I know. I just want to point out how important it is because this is what I see in my clientele. Thyroid troubles, Hashimoto's is one. Hypothyroiditis is another. If you're on Synthroid, live with thyroxine some, or desiccated thyroid. Those are all indications that your thyroid might be struggling. Graves is another. Graves is kind of if Hashimoto's and hypothyroiditis is at this end where things are not working well. Graves is the other end where it's super ramped up. subclinical thyroid issues too, where you're still in the normal range, but you're at the bottom end of the range. Yeah, that's an indicator things are going on. Number nine, cholesterol. Is your cholesterol rising? Rising cholesterol is a massive indicator that there is a high burden of stress going on. What happens in the picture of the stress response is you start to make more cholesterol. 
the higher that internal burden of stress is going on, the more you trip the production of cholesterol, as a matter of fact. It's a direct correlation because of how it impacts your metabolism. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Number 10, do you get hangry in the middle of the afternoon? Do you get the witching hour at your house? Small people, little people, big people, all of the people. Yeah. Do you get cravings? Are you the person who's like, oh my God, I don't have any self, um, self control. I go through and ate three sleeves of the Oreo cookies in the pantry, or I ate the entire bag of chips and I couldn't stop. <gasps> oh my God. Do you know that it's not because you're a weak person that you're doing that? It's because your blood sugars are tanking and your body's choosing you to live to fuel in order to turn off the stress response. Why is it turning on the stress response? Because you were on a roller coaster all day. And when you're getting to the bottom of a big hill, your stress response gets turned on because the body perceives in, if you're thinking of a roller coaster, if you're going up the roller coaster and you're coming down, up at the top of the roller coaster, you feel great. You can do all of the things. You're capable. You can get her done and people can rely on you. And that's amazing because that's your self-worth. And that's amazing. So great. So great. So great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't stay up there long. You get down to the bottom really quickly. When you're at the bottom of the roller coaster, that's the moment where you reach for the coffee. You get a hangry craving and you need to eat the chips or the crackers or the candy or the cookies or the baked goods or the Mars bar that's sitting in your cabinet at work which is me for about three years yeah oh this is me in a nutshell baby i don't need any more of those p.s it takes a while to get there but anyway do you at the bottom you go for a coffee or you go for a sweet treat or you reach for that bag of chips why are you reaching for that bag of chips or that cup of coffee because the sugar hit or the stress response that's triggered by the cup of coffee by itself gets you back going back up the roller coaster and gets you to the top of the highest high. So that's so great. What happens when you're up there? I can get all the things done. I got my act together. I can get dinner on the table. I can handle my children. I can help with the homework. I can do the pieces. I can be the five things I'm supposed to be because we no longer work under the guise of a community when we're all working together because you have to do all the things. To be able to do that, you have to be up at the top of the roller coaster. Whoa, you're going to crash again unless you eat, unless you turn on a stress response, unless you prod that inflammatory response. Same thing. Okay. Thanks, Luca. Yeah, you're welcome. Do you know that you can, that's one of the biggest pieces that nutrition can help with is start to reduce those mid-afternoon cravings, that hangry feeling. Are you ready to say goodbye to it? Are you tired of being felt like you are ruled by these blood sugar roller coasters all day long? What I propose is to get you off of the roller coaster in the first place and get you on a carousel instead. Why? Well, blood sugars were never meant to be even throughout the course of the day. You're not aiming for a flat line. No, no, no. That is not how blood sugars work. You're supposed to naturally have ups and downs. You're just supposed to have a gentler up and down like a carousel, not like a roller coaster. So what we do in the Good Food Network is we get you off the roller coaster and we get you on the carousel. A little bit better. So those are the top 10. Do you feel stress keenly? Are you sensitive? Do you feel all the things or do you react long before others? Do you have a chronic disease, autoimmune condition, or histamine issues? Do you have a chronic infection or stealth infection like Lyme or uh, Epstein-Barr, SIBO? Is sleep really troubled? Do you have low energy? Are you tired? Is your resiliency low? Do you have mood stuff, anxieties, worries, jumpy? Do you have thyroid troubles? Is your cholesterol rising? Do you get hangry or do you have cravings? Those are the top 10 ways that we know your burden of stress is high. I've got more. Of course I do. I always have more. Let's read some more. Do you have a high stress lifestyle? Do you work at a downtown firm that is boom and bust? And we seem to always be in a bust. And when the boom is on, it's really, really good and it's addictive and we want to stay there talk about the roller coaster yeah uh do you have an autoimmune condition a degenerative condition als parkinson's ms mm, yeah those kinds of conditions uh do you have brain fog cognitive work isn't working well cognitive decline as well 
Do you have a history of trauma or intergenerational trauma? You would get good benefits from the network. <laughs> do your heart, does your heart or do your lungs feel the heaviness? Do you have high blood pressure? Do you have low energy? Do you have asthma or COPD? Let's talk about hormonal things. Do you have fertility issues? That's another way that the high burden of stress can show up. Is your libido in the tanker? Adrenal insufficiency or adrenal fatigue, they call it. Yeah, that's a massive, huge, huge piece or big indicator. And it's so interesting to me. Like we think it's, you just need to look after the adrenals. No, you're a closed loop system. There's a lot of other pieces that are contributing. And when adrenal insufficiency is going on, it's just that you're tapping them all the time because they help you on the roller coaster. Actually, the adrenals get you when you're at the bottom, the adrenals get turned on and get you back up to the top. If you're doing that all day long. Your adrenals are going to be really tired. We can nourish your adrenals. Sure. But unless you address getting on the roller coaster in the first place, your adrenals are going to keep having to work hard. Let's just get you off the roller coaster first thing. Uh, other things. Do you have a muffin top? Uh, weight gain. That's, yeah, that's a big, big indicator. I have the best one in town. You can't beat me. What about digestive stuff? Other ways. These are people. So all of these things I'm name checking are all people who would benefit from being in the Good Food Network. So from the digestive end of things, yeah, we talked about SIBO, but what about IBS or IBD? Yeah, there'd be good stuff in here. Crohn's, colitis, celiac, any of those diagnoses. Joint pain, chronic pain. These are both indicators that your burden of stress is pretty high. Skin troubles, acne, rosacea, eczema. Mine tends to show up in the spring a little bit. I got a little patch right in my hand right now. Uh, undigested food in your stool. It's my personal favorite. When I talk to clients, they're like, oh my God, I don't want to talk about this. Yes, we will. Don't worry about it. It's going to be okay. Let's talk poop. Okay, so those are the top ways that I see people who come for support one-on-one, -on -one, where in my notes, I will say they have a high burden of stress. We need to get them off a roller coaster. Now, if you've said yes to any of these, you may want to join the Good Food Network. First things first, I'm going to drop a couple of links below here. The first link is going to be, let me make a note. The first link is going to be to book in for a 30 minute chat. So it doesn't cost you anything. You and I can chat about it and you can get a better sense of what it is. And if you'd be well suited to it, if you're still not sure if this is something that might fit the bill for you. So go ahead and book in that 30 minute call. It, you book in when it works for you. The times that show up are set in your time zone. So pick something that works for you. And I'll show up and you'll show up and there'll be a Zoom call and it'll be easy. Won't cost you anything. And then we can go through it. And then we can help identify what is going on for you and where you might have the best benefit. The second link that's going to be below here is going to be a link to check out about the Good Food Network. So I have a whole write-up of questions you can ask yourself. Is this something, uh, let me just put on my website. Is this something that's going to be good for me? How do I know this is for me? How do I know this is not for me? And you'll be able to read through that section. I also have an audio read version that you can tune into instead for those who'd rather have somebody read it to them. And the third one is going to be the link directly to join the Good Food Network. And uh, when you sign up, you get 30 days entry from the day you're in. So if you're watching this on April 15th, you can join us today. You can join us the minute you want to join us. And you will have a full month from the minute you join. So if you're joining in the middle of the month, you'll get two months worth actually inside of that 30 days because I change it on the first of every month. So come when you're ready. Know that you get instant access and you get access for one month from the date you join. And it keeps renewing itself until you send me a message and you say, I'm done. I don't want to be in the network anymore. So you take in as much as you want, and there's enough content for you to do at least three months of work with each month we've got on. Let's be clear. I'm going to take you for a tour now of what it looks like when you join the network. So when you join the network, it takes you to, everything is housed on my hub. It's called, I call it the hub or my portal. And this is through a program called Practice Better. So you get to sign in. I'll tell you where you sign in, actually. You sign in at the bottom of every page on my website. If you scroll down, this is the longest page. Log into Client Hub here. 
this is where you'll be able to log in in order to access the content from the network and anything else that you've ever signed up for, by the way. So this is the page. This is gonna be link number two below where you're watching this video. This takes you through what the network looks like. And I wanna draw your attention to one specific place. So this is the orientation session. This is the current session we're doing is linked right here as soon as I've got it uploaded. But this is the section you wanna take yourself to. How do I know if the Good Food Network might be a good fit for me? You read through there. How do I know if it might not be right for me at this time? So these are all ways to know. And then all the details are on here. I'll tell you, this is what it includes. Important information before you sign up. It's a subscription. And a little thing to note, you can try it for seven days free. The first seven days, I charge you at the beginning, but if you decide within that first week, this is not what I thought it would be. You could take, you could just send me a message and I will reimburse you and I will even eat the cost of the $5 that it costs for me to set up a payment plan for you. Yeah, because I really actually think that you're going to really like it. So I think you could go in and get it for free for sure and download everything and then leave after a week and just have a really intense one a week going through everything. And then you can have it for free. Sure, I think you'll do it. Anyway, that's there. When you log into the client hub, bottom right, bottom left of each of my website pages, lucasimmons.com, it's going to take you to here once you create your password. So if you're new to the network, when you join, you get an email that says, welcome to the network. Please create a password. Come join Luca on Practice Better. Once you create your password, it doesn't cost you anything. It's, well, it's included in the cost of that $35. It takes you to here. This is the home page. One thing to know this button top left always takes you to your homepage, which is good to know because if you if you tend to get lost in things, then that's good to that's good to know that this can get you back home. So you're going to see here. There's a few different things. All of these white boxes I call widgets. I'm going to maximize the screen here because I think you'll get a bit of a better view. Yeah. So these are all widgets. It's not my term. Somebody else, and they're exactly what they say they are. If you maximize your window, you'll see it much better in a better layout. So we've got, uh, looks like three, four widgets. We've got my programs, pending forms, upcoming sessions, and pending tasks. So you will have a few tasks created for you when you join the Good Food Network. So you can tend to those right there. Upcoming sessions is those live calls that we're doing in the network. So these are all classes happening over the course of April. So we've got Thursday, April 4th, Wednesday, the 10th, Thursday, 11th, Thursday, the 18th. So there's usually one or two live sessions a week. So they're all going to be listed here. This is where I want to draw your attention. It says my programs. You can access the Good Food Network here, or you can click on programs here and you will see GF Network. It's not gluten-free. It's Good Food Network. So this is where you're going to find everything. And a little tip, when you're on the modules, this is where you can scroll. They're kind of broken up into different sections here. If you're up here, it's not going to scroll through. If you're here, it's not going to scroll through. You have to be above, your cursor has to be above where the modules are. I've broken the modules down in four sections. The first one is all the administrative tasks. Second, we've got the live sessions. Third, we've got pre-recorded content. And lastly, we have the written content. When you first come into the network, I'm going to tell you where you want to go first. Start here, kitten. Oh, oh, like you don't even need to remember. When you go through there, there's a training video to help you get the best use out of the network. So make sure you check in with that first. That's going to be a really big help. The next piece you want to go to is the schedule and checklist. So your schedule and checklist is updated every month and now I've just updated this morning and stuff for April so this is a live view or it's a calendar view of all the live sessions we're doing the ones that are tied to a time so there's at least one a week sometimes two so this week we're doing the orientation call right now on Thursday we'll do a session at 7 a.m every Thursday we meet at 7 a.m you can join it live or you can watch the replay there's one live 90 minute class a month you can watch it live or you can catch the replay. Everything has the replay potential. 
So this month we're doing a class called SOS Stress Supplements. If you join us live, you can ask questions. If you watch the replay, you miss out on the Q&A. But you're paying $35 for the whole month. This class by itself is 25 bucks. So you're getting these for 250 each and everything else is free, right? It's a really good deal. So you can download and print this month's calendar if you wish. I always tend to have a copy for myself that lives on my desk so that I know what's coming up and I can jot down some notes. Next up, you got a checklist for the month. This is the next piece you want to go to. There's a printable version just down here. This is what it looks like. So everybody, it's a one pager and you use this to make sense of the month and what you're going to prioritize. So you first print this up, you get a lay of the land, and then you say, these are the pieces I want to work on. This is what I don't want to do this month. So you can use this in the way that I propose. You've got a space here on the left. You can write down which order you want to do. So for example, check out this month's schedule and worksheet. That's the first thing. So you're going to do that. And once you're done, you check it off. If, for example, you know that you don't even want to do strawberry shortcakes cooking class because there's a 90 minute cooking class as part of the network, then you just scratch this off and you say, we're not making the strawberry shortcakes this month. Like simplify things for yourself. So you first start by figuring out what you won't want to watch, and then you figure out what you do want to watch. And you can watch the 30 minute sessions a week. You can do a cooking class once a month. There's lots of different pieces you can mix and match. What I do recommend is that you spend one hour a week, make it the same time every week. If it's a Monday night at 7 p.m., that's the way it works. If it's Sunday morning at 9 a.m. because grandma takes the kids, great. If it's Sunday night because you and your sweetheart are committing to reducing stress and you want to get better as you age, you want to get into the content, then schedule a together time date night on Sunday night that the two of you can sit down and go through the content together and hold each other accountable. You only pay for one network price. If there's two of you, don't pay two, honestly. Or sit down and do it with your sister where you guys get together every Sunday night because you guys are going to do this together or your cousin or your bestie. Yeah. So this is what you're going to print up to know what are all the different moving parts. So this is how much is in the network for 35 bucks a month. It's, it's a really good deal. I'm just saying. So lots of different components here. You'll get a sense of what these are in just a second. So what you do, you go ahead and you download to your computer and you print from your downloads folder. That's how you print things up in the network. Now there's one last sheet I want to draw your attention to. This is a, brand, it's a new one as of the fall. We started bringing in a worksheet so that you could have a one pager that ends up being your cheat sheet on things you wanted to do this month. So what are your main goals this month? You get to jot these down at the start of the month. And then as you go through the different classes, you will get either action items regarding foods or lifestyle and other ideas. So you can jot down some ideas here as you go through. For example, this week on Thursday, we are talking about blood sugars and stress. So you watch that episode on Thursday morning, food is medicine. Oh, she talked about three things I could do in there. I'm going to choose the first one. The fir I haven't done the class yet, so I don't know what it's going to be. But for example, oh, I know that I'm going to want to talk about adding in butter. Okay, well, I want to aim for two tablespoons of butter a day or four tablespoons of butter a day. You'll see what the difference is when you take the class. So you jot this down in here. You put this on the fridge in the kitchen so you see it. Next time you catch another class, for example, stress and B vitamins. Why you need more B vitamins, you're gonna choose from the food list that I'll provide in that class. That's Thursday, the 18th of April. And then you'll say, oh, I wanna bring in some B vitamin foods. Oh, I'm gonna to wanna to bring in this food and this food and this food. So you start writing this down here. So this is a living document that grows over the course of the month and is a one place that you're putting all of the ideas on one page. So it's your cheat sheet. So you, jo you jot down the goals for this month. What are those food items? What are those lifestyle ideas you wanna incorporate? And then you do the same thing. You print it up from here, download to your computer and get it done. <clears throat> and once you're done this, you have the capacity to do mark completed. I'll encourage you to hit mark completed once you've printed it because, watch this. Let's go back to my program. 
When you get back to your program, schedule and checklist, oh, I've completed it. I don't need to go back in to do it again. You could still view it. You can still get in the in the module. It's not gone. If you lost your page, you need to print it up again. You go back, you print it. But now it saves you from having to remember, did I do this module or not? I can't remember. It's been done because you marked it completed. Now in this first top part, this is all the administrative things. So that's the checklist and schedule. We've got our main topic. Any questions about your network subscription are all in here. So whenever you have questions about things, go check here. It'll tell you how to get a hold of me, how what questions you can ask and things to think about. So check that section out when you have questions about your subscription. But now I want to take you through each of the three sessions, the sections of the network. Uh, that's the admin side. Yeah, the admin side is just to get you situated and know the business side of things. But what's actually in the network? Well, in the network, you can think of it in one of three ways. We've got live sessions that are done in person, tied to a time. They're always on Zoom. They're never in person because we have people across Canada in the network. We actually had an American once. Uh, he's not in it anymore, but that's okay. So here we've got live sessions. These are ones that are going to be tied to a calendar. Pre-recorded content is on demand. So it's like streaming content. Watch it when you want. It's like Disney, but for food. We'll get through what each of those sections are in a second, or what's in each section. Then the last one is the written content. So this is just printables, things you can print. I'm going to give you a little hint. When you first get started in the network, go to the written content because it's really easy to just print it and then go work it into your meals or get recipes or what have you. And it's just that quick, satisfying feeling that you've done a bunch of stuff in the network already. So maybe the first session you do this month, the first hour you sit down, go through all the written content and get into it. So for example, recipes for the month of April, we have five recipes. Every month we have five recipes. It's the same recipes that are in the recipe subscription service. If you're in the network, you get them for free. I know. It's a really good deal, pals. Yeah, so recipes of the month. This is great if you've been getting the recipes. There's like so much more than just recipes. You know? Anyway, these are the ones for the month of April. We've got a no tomato sauce, simple fish cakes, a pantry seafood chowder, an edel Irish soup, and frosting. These are five recipes for spring that tie into the organ of the month, which is liver of the season, pardon me. Liver is the main organ of the season. These are all recipes that are anti-inflammatory. They are also seasonal recipes that rely on things you would tend to have at this time of year. There's not a salad in there. <laughs> These are all things that you would have at the end of the winter season, relying on your pantry staples and relying on the last dregs of those root vegetables that would have been in the root cellar. And the new growth stuff in this nettle Irish soup, because in the spring, you're going to start to see nettle popping up in different areas. You might be foraging for it. You might see it at a farmer's market. You might see it in your farmer's box. So this, if you have a shared community, shared agriculture box, Irish, uh, pardon me, nettle is often one of those things you'll see in there. We see it with Blue Mountain Biodynamic here in Calgary. So I have a recipe for you. Yes, I do. Now, most of the recipes every month are low histamine. If there is not, then I pointed out there's only one that is not low histamine this month, and it is the seafood chowder pantry. So you save that recipe if you're not in a flare or if you don't have histamine issues, eat abundantly. So print these five up, download, 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 download. Either save them on a folder on your computer or print them up and start a recipe binder in the kitchen. Once you're done printing them up, click mark completed. I did one already, I feel so good. Back to my program, please. Okay, back in the program. So we did the recipes completed. Oh, right on. What is the weekly good food challenge for April? Every week on the social media, we talk about a food to focus on for the week. So if you've been checking that out and that's part of what's gotten you interested in the network, well, welcome. What do we do in this one? Well, we talk about what the food is for the week. This week, it's gonna be leeks. I haven't posted about it yet at the time of this recording, but this week, first week of April, we're talking about leeks. And there's always going to be a post out that you can click out to, to see what are those nutrients in there and why it's so beneficial. 
What I do extra in the network is I give you 10 ideas, 10 or 11 ideas on ways to incorporate leaks into your meals. And every week I update this module with more content. So then this leaks one gets bumped down and then we have a new one up top. So the latest one will always be up top here. It will always say this week's challenge. And then week one, two, three, four gets bumped to the bottom. Awesome. Let's go back a screen. Okay. So that was the weekly good food challenge. We also, every season, there is a module on how to eat with the seasons. There's a 12 minute video that'll take you through why eating with the seasons is such an important way to think about addressing and building that safety in the body. And eating with the seasons is one of the pieces I eventually get all of my clients onto when we've done at least six, if not 10 visits actually. Because this takes a bit of figuring out and kind of maneuvering around with it and playing with it because it can feel like a pretty big topic. But I thought in the network, I have the content ready. Why don't we just have it available for you for those who want to go to level 400? This might be too much for you. Then it's one of the modules you don't do. But I think you're a smart cookie. This video explains why it's important. And then at the bottom, you've got a handout and you've got some more recipes. So let's view what this one looks like first. Every season, there's a handout pertaining to the season. We talk about what we are focusing on and what is of importance in this per particular season. Foods to focus on in the season of spring. This can live on the fridge in the kitchen so that you can have an easy access list of how should I be eating this season? Got a list of superfoods, superb foods, teas, roots and shoots, herbs and spices that are well suited to the season. Liver supportive foods in the season, main organ for the season, the main energy for the season. So this takes it to another level. This was based on a class that I gave three years ago at the start of the pandemic, uh, where we were meeting online for six weeks and it's all condensed into a two page handout now. We did way more in the sessions. They were really lovely. You had homework every week to go for a walk. That was the homework. Yes, I love it. So in here, we share lifestyle ideas to think about on how to move through the season. So for anybody who's interested in aligning with the seasons and really delving into what it is to be spring right now, we are in spring and I think we change it on June 1st, we get into summer. So yeah, because it's three months each. So this is going to be great until the end of May like this kind of content. So it gives you ideas on how to maybe think about moving through the season and give you a bit of direction. If you're somebody who needs direction to get more involved in the natural world, you're gonna wanna prioritize this module to be a part of what you check out this season. And when you're done checking it out, click on Mark Completed. Go back a screen, back to our modules. So these are the written contents. There's three modules in the written content. We've gone through them all. Let's bump up. We've got the live sessions and our pre-recorded content or on demand. Maybe I need to change it to on demand. The wording keeps changing in the pop culture world. Anyway, when I say pre-recorded content, it was recorded before and it's ready for you to access. So it's on demand. I'm sure you can figure it out. So let's go through that. You've got three modules you can get to. These are all parts of things I've done before that I now package and where you can have a little bit more variety in the Good Food Network for those who wanna take a step further and dive into a little bit different content. So here we have, I did a, uh, the first thing I did on in 2019 was I built this program called the Real Food Reset. There's 10 modules, there's a lot. And one of them is the pantry overhaul. So the pantry overhaul is uh, one of 10 modules and it's part of this first part of the program it was uh, the practical is really what we called it. And then we get into building your pantry. So there's a half hour video module to talk about how to stack your pantry. There's no extras. We do have handouts and recipes. So for example, you've got a pantry list. This is perfect for this time of year, by the way, it's spring. So here we've got a list on things you wanna do to stock up your pantry. What are things you wanna have in your pantry and how to source them? These are extras level 400 points. Read your labels. So this helps you know how to stock your pantry. Then we've got a recipe that relies on pantry items. Salmon croquettes, 
there's a bit of a story to it. You'll have to read it when you get there. When you're done with this module, you click mark completed. Confirm. I did complete it. I want to go back to my program. Where is that one? Oh, pantry overhaul. I've done that one already. Yes, you have. Next, we've got two more classes. So I want to do the strawberry shortcakes cooking class first. It's a 90 minute class. It was originally designed for junior high kids. It is the kind of class where we're doing the one in red here, strawberry shortcakes, homemade whipped cream, fruit compote for all seasons. So in this section, we do it for low histamine, grain-free, paleo, dairy-free, egg-free, regular fun times, can eat all the foods person as well. So everybody sits at this table. We had all of the dietary uh, restrictions put in place in, so that everybody had a potential. They could choose. They want the dairy version, but grain-free. They wanted a low histamine version of everything. We fit the bill for everybody. So it's a 90 minute cooking class. It's super yummy. It is me and my kid in our kitchen. And we did this at the height of the pandemic. Is it gonna work? Yeah, aren't we cute? So we did this right at the start of the pandemic actually where everybody was in lockdown. <laughs> And my daughter and I, who was in grade nine at the time, she'd be mortified if she knew I was showing this image. We were in our kitchen doing this every Friday afternoon with 72 kids across North America, actually. And we got together to do this very affordable Friday afternoon options class, if you will, for the junior high kids, where we built recipes every week and we just cooked together. So I recorded all those sessions. You get access to one of those sessions this month. So this is the, uh, yeah, the strawberry shortcakes one. So you get your grocery list, you get your recipes themselves. So you get to know what to go get at the grocery store to have it ready. You go make sure you've got everything ready. This is everything you'll need. Paleo version, tools and equipments you'll need. The notes before we start the class, what to do, get ready. When you're ready, you come back to this module. And you turn the video on and you join us for 90 minutes in our kitchen. We had a riot doing these. And when you're done this, click Mark Completed. Click it Mark Completed, even if you're not going to watch the 90 minutes, but you're just going to print out the handouts so that you know you don't have to go back to it, right? It's already marked down completed. So that's awesome. So we've gone through the pantry overhaul. We've done the cooking class. This is, uh, this is all for 35 bucks. All of these things, just so you know. This is the crown jewel of the entire network for the month of April. It is a monstrous undertaking of a class. It's called the burden of stress. We really dive into what that burden of stress is and what it looks like, how it impacts your biochemistry and how to start resolving it. This gives you, if there's nothing else you check in the network, this class by itself is 60 bucks. Join the network and you'll get it for the month. And then you can print everything up, build your worksheets, and it'll disappear by the end of the month. Yeah. So this is brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, handouts and recipes. So you got a handout here. Make sure you download. And you've got 13 videos. So on your worksheet, I'll show you here. Do we have it here? Oh, we don't. Okay, so on here, you're gonna mark down on the left-hand side of your handout as you go through which modules you've watched so that you can come back to this and do it piecemeal, one piece at a time. So here, look at this, there's like 13 videos. And this was meant to be a two-week class originally, is how it was run, where you had a module every day. So, this gives you instructions on what to do at the end of the class. When you're done the class, you click on Mark Completed. Take your time through it. And if you wanna go back and visit it, you sure can. It, you, it's, it doesn't lock you out once you've finished it. It's all good. So when you look at the pre-recorded content, we've gone through those three modules, that pantry class, 30 minutes, the vitality class, which is close to three hours of video content, and that cooking class for strawberry shortcakes. Each of these by themselves are more than $35, but you get them all together bundled for the month of April at 35 bucks. It's a super steal. 
That's what I'm saying. So this is your on-demand content, the pre-recorded content, what you can access as soon as you want. The live sessions. We have two live sessions, two types, other than the orientation call. You've got your food as medicine sessions. Those are Thursday mornings, 7 a.m. Alberta time. Always a replay available. And we have a live class, usually the second Wednesday of the month at 9 a.m., a replay available after the fact. Everything to do with the Thursday morning sessions is in here. First of all, the schedule. These are the topics we're covering in April. These are half an hour sessions, 30 minute sessions, blood sugars and stress, best fats to reduce stress, stress and B vitamins, top two lifestyle hacks to help through stress. Video replays will always be embedded down here. So once we finish this class, you'll see a video here and you can watch the replay directly in the, in the module. And so on and so forth, keep scrolling right to the bottom. All right, that's the first of the live sessions. The next one, this class by itself is 25 bucks to join. So here, scroll down for this month's live class details. We're doing a class called SOS Stress Supplements. So this is for the pe person who is, I'm doing all the food things. Do I need to bump up some supplements and really get that extra help? Those who want to know, you can sign up for the class by itself, or you can join the network and you'll get free access to the class, or it'll be in included in the cost of your membership. So we're doing 90 minutes. We're talking effective strategies for managing stress, enhancing well-being. We're doing it through a different kind of ways, four different ways we're going to be doing it. And then we'll give you a list of supplements. And my hope is that by the end of this class, you will know which one will serve your purpose best. And yeah, and when we're done, the replay is going to be available through here. I can't embed that one. So you'll have to click on the replay available on this button here. And then you'll have handouts down here. You'll have extras down here if I need to add anything. I haven't built this class yet. Okay. So that's the live sessions. So let me do one quick glance through the network. Your administrative stuff here, your checklist, your business about your subscription, a whole module on the topic of stress. This is actually just written content. You don't even get to print it. So this is just to give you the lay of the land. Now, if it's a live session tied to a time, you're going to find it here. If it's a session, a video session, you can access any time. Then you go through here. If it is simply written content you can print, then you'll find it down in this last section. And then I have one last piece I want to show you. So you can see up here on the top right, oops, you've got a chat bubble and then this little bell here. That's to indicate that there's a new chat available. So with the network, we actually have a group chat. Not a lot of people use it, which is so interesting to me, but it's there. It's part of what you have access to. You can post questions there. You can go through extra content through there as well. Yeah, I put extra stuff. So I will make sure somebody put a very personal question there. So I don't want to highlight because she hasn't given me permission. But every time I upload something to the network, I drop something in the chat. So for anybody who's joining the network this month, use the chat as a place to gauge what's the new stuff that's uploaded this week. That might be another nice way to get at what is ready for you. So new content awaits. Start with your checklist and schedule. See you around the network this month. So we've got the new... April stuff. I put this up this morning as I had this ready about seven o'clock this morning. And then last Friday, it's the last chance to watch the March content in the network. So new content comes on Monday and there's the personal thing. I'm going to skip over that. For example, last Thursday, we did a session in the food is medicine sessions called stress and vitamin C. So here uh, it tells you all the things you need to know about that session. There's a hot tip every week on how to get the best use out of the network. We've got lots of new stuff that's posted here all the time. There's which new food to add this week, stress relieving ideas and extra reading content for anybody who wants to find that stuff. So when you first check in, click on chat here. You can also access it through here up top. When you click there, you're going to see the chat this way as well. So you can go through here. Please do not look at the participant's name. Sorry about that, friends. So you've got new content awaits and you can see some of that content here as well. Now you've also got, whoops, 
this little bell. This can also help you access the group notifications. You could do that as well. I don't tend to use that. I find that one overwhelming, so I just clear them all all the time and it makes it easier. See, clicking on this image top left now takes me back to my home page. My programs are here. Good Food Network is here. Everything tied to the Good Food Network is here. My modules, my chat, right? That's where the chat was. We've also got the session. So your Zoom sessions are in here. Oops, they'll be at the top. There should be more down here. I'll show you a better way to get to the session. So if you want to join us live for those Zoom classes, so for example, the Thursday morning session, the Food is Medicine Quick Weekly Video, this is going to be Thursday, April 4th, 7 a.m. It'll tell you in your time zone. So if you're in Ontario, this will say 9 a.m. Mountain uh, Eastern time. So it'll adjust your time. When it's time to join those live classes, click on the little camera icon. That takes you directly to the Zoom room, if you will. It, when I wanted to join this morning, I clicked on this one and I just clicked on that little camera icon there to join the Zoom session this morning. And most of these sessions, I always turn your cameras off so that you can join us and not be worried about having background noise and other things. Your cameras are off, your mics are off. And then at the end of it, I give you a little warning I'll t you can t and you get to turn on your camera if you want. So you're in charge of it. Never will you ever be exposed unless you decide to uh, turn on. Please don't expose things. Obviously, Luca. Okay. That is that for the Good Food Network for the month of April. Again, I'm going to highlight, I've got three links below. Number one is book in for a 30 minute chat. If you want to figure out, is this something that's going to be right for you and you need some help to figure that out? Doesn't cost you anything, book in. Number two, I'm going to give you a link. Link number two below this is the link out to my website where you can read through, is this for me? Is this not for me? Link number three is the link to directly join us in the Good Food Network. Come join us when you're ready. You will have access within three minutes because you'll take three minutes to go create your password. And then you can jump through the hoops and sit down, set yourself up with a time of when you're going to commit to jumping into the network once a week, same time every week. If you do one hour a week, you're going to get your money's worth. If you want to bump it up to two hours, you're getting extra content and it's a great thing if you've got the extra time and wiggle room in your schedule. One of the things you'll soon notice is that I tend to say it's kind of a repetition of some of the ideas we've presented, but always turned into a new light. And it starts to make it all seem complete after a time. So come and join us. I look forward to seeing you in the Good Food Network. Thanks for joining me today. We'll see you again. Salut, à bientôt.